Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install Udo 17 on an Ubuntu 22 server with Nginx and securing it with an SSL certificate. I'll be following this guide which is available on opensourcehustle.com and I'll have the link in the description. Let's start with the prerequisites. First of all, you need to have an Ubuntu server. The minimum server requirements are 1 CPU and 2 gigs of RAM. The second thing, you need to have a domain name pointing to that server. Let's start with creating the server. I'll be using Vulture as I find it easy to use. I'm gonna go with shared CPU Frankfurt Ubuntu 22 and AMD high performance with 1 CPU and 2 gigs of RAM. I'm gonna disable the auto backups as I'm gonna use this instance just for this tutorial and I'm gonna deploy it. While the instance is finishing installing, let's point the domain name to this instance. So I'm gonna copy the IP address. I'm gonna go to the domain provider. In my case, I'm using Cloudflare. And now I'm gonna add an A record that will point the root domain name, which is documenter.tech, to that IP address. I'm not gonna be using proxy, and the rest I'm gonna leave it as default and save. So now with the instance ready, let's access it with SSH. I'm gonna be using git bash, so I'll go with SSH. I'm gonna access as a root user. I'm gonna copy the IP address, enter, save the fingerprint, the password, and now I'm in the server. It is good practice not to use the root user, so I'm gonna create a regular user and access the server with it. To add a new user, I'll use add user command and write my name. I'm gonna add the password, repeat it, Keep the rest of the fields empty. Now we need to give sudo privileges to that user. We can do that by vsudo. We're gonna go down to the root user. I'm gonna copy the root user line, duplicate it, and change the root to my user, and save this file. Now we should be able to log in with that user. Let's do that. SSH Alex at p address, my user's password. Now we're in. Let's check if we can use the sudo command. Let me try to switch to root user and I can do that. So now we are ready to follow the tutorial. First of all, let's update the system. Sudo apt update doesn't actually update the system, it just updates the repositories list. To actually update the system, you do sudo apt upgrade. So let's do that. It's saying that a new kernel is available and it will be updated only after a reboot. So let's do that. Let's run sudo reboot to reboot the system. Let's give it some time for it to reboot. Let's try to access. All right, let's start installing the dependencies. So Udo uses PostgreSQL as the database. Let's start it from the repository by running sudo apt install PostgreSQL and the Y flag for command for yes when prompted. Now let's install WK HTML2 PDF. This is used by Udo to render PDF files. Let's install it from the repository by running sudo apt install WK HTML2 PDF. Now to install Udo, first we need to add it to our repository. Run the following two commands to add it to your repository. And now we can install Udo by running sudo apt install Udo. First we're gonna update the repository list, then we're gonna install Udo. Now let's check Udo status by running sudo systemctl status Udo. And we can see that it is active and running. We can run the following command to check to which port Udo is listening to. And we can see that it is listening to port 8069. Now we can access the website using that port number. Let's copy our IP address, paste it, double colon 8069. As you can see, the site is not opening. That's probably because uncomplicated firewall is running on the system. Let's check by running sudo ufw status and we can see that it is running and it's only allowing tcp traffic from port 22 let's disable ufw for now by running sudo ufw disable the firewall stopped and disabled and we can see that the website opened let's give a name to the database and let's fill the rest of the data make sure you remember the master password and save it somewhere securely and if you'd like, you could load demo data. And you could do that later on. You don't necessarily need to do that now. Create database. The database has been created and we can log in now. Now we are in. Let's try to activate one of the modules to see if everything is working correctly. So we can see that the sales module has been installed successfully. Let's proceed with the next steps. Now it's time to install Nginx and add the necessary Nginx directives. Let's do that. Let's install Nginx by running sudo apt install Nginx. Yes. 
let's enable nginx on startup now we need to create the necessary nginx directives we need to create it in the sites available directory so i'm gonna call it documentor.tech which is the domain name that i have dot conf here i'm gonna add the following I've generated everything you see here using ChatGPT. If you want to get into the details of them, you could just ask ChatGPT what exactly each part does. Just to keep the tutorial simple, I'm not going to go into the details of each part. Now we need to change the yourdomain.com part to your actual domain name. So I'm going to click on Ctrl W, that's on Windows, then Ctrl R to replace a specific text. I'm going to paste yourdomain.com there. I'm going to replace it with documentor.tick and I'm gonna press A to replace all the instances then I'm gonna save this configuration file now we need to enable this directive to do that we need to create a symbolic link of this file inside sites enabled directory so let's do that sudo ln symbolic link etc nginx sites available documenter.tech.conf which is the file that we created and we need to create a link inside etc nginx sites enabled click enter let's check if the file was actually created by listing the contents of that directory etc nginx sites enabled and we can see that it is there now we need to test the configuration to make sure everything is correct without any syntax errors to do that you can run the sudo nginx t command and we can see that the configuration syntax is okay and it passed the test so now we can restart nginx to take on the new configuration let's check if we can access sudo using our domain name so i'm gonna write documenter.tech then copy and paste it to remove the HTTPS as we did not install a certificate yet well, we can see that's already working and uh, the website is accessible let's proceed with the next steps I'm gonna be using certbot to install the SSL certificate as it makes it extremely simple and installs let's encrypt certificates so let's install the certbot package by running the following command now let's install the certificate for our domain the cool thing about this command is that actually it will add the the necessary directives to our nginx configuration it will install that certificate and add the necessary directives to our nginx configuration files to do that we run sudo certbot dash dash nginx dash d the domain name which is documentor.tech and click enter Add your email address if you'd like to receive notifications for certificate expiry and renewals. Accept the terms and services. I'm gonna skip this part for receiving emails regarding campaigns and other stuff. So now we can see that the certificate was successfully issued and it should have added it to the nginx configuration file. Let's check if it has added it to the configuration file by running sudo cat etc nginx sites available and let's see the contents of our configuration file. So we can see actually that certbot has added an extra server block which will direct track to a secure connection we can see that it is listening to port 443 and it has the SSL directives in here so now with the SSL certificate installed we need to configure the udo.conf file by adding the following directive at the end this will make the udo application aware that we're using a reverse proxy to access it so let's save that to make sure that all requests are going over HTTPS and not HTTP we'll need to add this security directive to nginx which is content security policy let's do that by sudo nano and opening our configuration file and let's add the following directive under the certbot generated file over here let's save the file let's test the nginx configuration file everything is fine let's restart nginx let's restart udo let's see if we can access our udo application using https i'm gonna go to documentor.tech and i can see that it is accessed securely over https let's try to remove https and access it over http it is redirected to https so that's how you can install Udo on an Ubuntu machine and secure it with an SSL certificate. Thank you for watching.